notes is me stopping at a certain problem and you finishing the notes, which is also your homework. Once everybody is done with the homework, we'll probably still have 10, 15 minutes left in class. I want to talk about your options for math next year, because I'm sure sooner or later, if you haven't already, you're going to start talking to your guidance counselors about picking classes for next year, course selection. And I just want to make sure you guys are aware of what your options are. All right. So that's what we'll do at the end of class today. Uh, all right. So here we go. I'm going to assign everybody. Actually, before I assign everybody a group, can you just draw a triangle ABC? Let's start with that. I'm going to assign everybody a group number and you're going to have a job for me. Say that again. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's done. How many right. constructions are there? There's one in the parts two, three, and four where you're going to have to do your own, and then there might be a multiple choice question or two. Yeah. Am I going to tell you what it is? Absolutely not. All right, all good? Everyone's got it? All right, uh, group one, right here, group one. So jot that down, you guys are group one, group two, group three, all right? Group, group one right here, these two combined, group two right here, group three. Please just do your job, all right? You're gonna be finding the midpoints of two sides, and I hate to break it to you, we got a midterm in two weeks. I'm not providing that midpoint formula again for the 800th time this year, so you and your group can discuss what that is. All right, because we have a midterm coming up in two weeks. I'm sure you're going to need that formula. So discuss it within your groups and then uh, find your midpoint of your sides, please. All right, go ahead. I had to like bathe when he gave me a I had to like bathe when he gave me a I was like, so 
Are we ready to report back here? Finish up. Finish up your midpoints. All right, here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, group one. What do we have for point E? Group one, anybody? Spout it out. Group one. Five seven. Yep, we had five seven for point E and point F. Eight one. Yep. So can everyone jot that down? Graph it and connect them, please. The foreign segment EF. Graph them, connect them. Please plot EF and connect it. All right, next up, group two. Hopefully you guys had point F is 8-1. All right. And what'd you get for point G? 3-2. Three, 3-2, two. Three, two. way to go, group two, way to go. Graph them, connect them, graph them, connect them. And group three, sorry to steal your fire. Everyone matches up. We're good? Okay. Group E, five, seven. G, three, two. Okay. Uh, all right, let's just talk about what we just formed. We just drew in three segments there. Uh, we did this in the quadrilateral unit as well except we did it for a trapezoid where we took the midpoint of one, the non-base and the midpoint of another non-base connected them. And we called that a mid segment, just like these are called as well. So when you connect the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, you form a mid segment. There are two two properties of a mid-segment of a triangle, two. And they're the same exact properties as the trapezoid was, mid-segment was. So I'm gonna ask you guys to dig deep here for me. Can you help me review the properties of a mid-segment of a trapezoid? Cause it's gonna be just like the triangle was. Matt, got one? Uh, base angles are congruent. No. That is a property of an isosceles trapezoid. Yes. I'm just looking for, I'm looking for prop. Sorry, maybe I didn't ask the question well enough. I'm just looking for the properties of a mid-segment. Mid-segment, not an isosceles trapezoid, but good job. <laughs> All right, so properties of a mid-segment only. Ian, one of them. Is it, is it parallel? It's parallel to the bases, correct. Now, if you look at that triangle we just had, I don't have bases. I just have a third side it's not connected to, all right? So what I'm gonna write down for property number one here is it's parallel to the third side. And right next to here, I'm just gonna put, I wanna put a, an example using our graph so you know exactly what I'm talking about because I'm gonna use this term third side a lot. So if you guys take a look, you guys have mid-segment FE, correct? Mid-segment FE. What do I mean by the third side for FE? It's the side it's not connected to, which in our case would be side AC. So right now I'm going to write, hey, FE is parallel. What was the other side? AC? Thank you. AC. That's what I mean by the third side. Okay, so it's parallel to the third side. And anybody remember the length, Z? Yep, it's the half of the sum of the two bases. Well, I don't have two bases in a, tri in a triangle, right? So instead, I'm going to say the length is equal to just, just 
half the third side. I don't need to add anything up. All right, it's just half the third side. That's it. So going back to that mid-segment FE, going back to mid-segment FE, that's going to be equal. The length of FE is going to be half of AC's length. And it'll be half of AC's length. Good? So it works just like the trapezoid, but I don't have two bases. I only have one third side, guys. All right, you ready to get jumping here? <laughs> I'm only doing two examples with you, and then you're on your own to finish up the homework, and then we'll talk about classes for next year. All right, I have this triangle ABC. I gave you all three side lengths. Find the perimeter of the triangle formed by connecting the midpoints of the sides. All right, so connect the midpoints of all the sides. You form a triangle. All right. Uh, so let's start out with, I want to do side by side here. The midpoint of AC connected to the midpoint of BC. That's called a mid segment. We just learned. How do I find the length of it? I take half its third side. So that mid segment we just drew right there connecting AC and BC's midpoint. How long should it be? Uh, he's going rogue. I hate doing this. 11. He's got 11. Hi, Will. How long is that side, Will? Eight. Five. five. How'd you get five? Half of AB, which is 10. That's its third side. Good. All right. Let's connect the midpoints now of AC and AB. AC and AB. Let's connect those midpoints. What's that mid-segment length now? What should be that mid-segment's length? 12? Seven. Why are we saying seven, Olivia? Not seven. It, ready? It's connecting AC and AB, so it's equal to half the third side, the side that it doesn't connect. How long is the side that doesn't connect? You're right. I'm just trying to. Why, I'm just asking why we didn't have confidence in your answer. You're correct. What's the, the this side right here? Right. It's a. You agree? It's a mid segment. Okay. It's half its third side. So what's considered its third side here? BC, which is how long? So you took half of 14 and got seven. Good. I know you told me seven. And I wasn't debating if it was right or wrong. I just want to have some more confidence in your answer. And then connecting the last side, connecting midpoint of BA with the midpoint of BC. That mid segment is going to be how long? Eight. Did you say the answer is like the same? That's well, that's a good question. point. That's a good point. All right. I don't know okay. what. Okay. Kid tells me base angles are congruent, but then remembers that. You know? All right. You got me there. All right. It is eight. Yep. Which is the number I popped up. All right. So what do you got? Go ahead. What's coming up next? This is just like having a Promethean Cube. person come up. Cube. Cube. Drop. Drop. If the answer comes up, uh, if the number I pick is the same as the answer I'm looking for, then we can do this. Shatter, this clock. Shatter clock, yep. Swing. Wipe. Wipe. Star. Star, good one. Genie. Genie, yeah. Books. Pinwheel book. Curtain, yeah, that was a big one. I'm waiting for somebody to say that one. Any more nominations? I'm thinking about one you're missing, but might be others. That's it. All right, let's go to work. Uh, curtains. That would have been mine for this one. I don't know why. Cube. Drop, two drops, slide right, slide left. Would you have slide right? Yeah, sorry. Yep, slide left, genie. Oh, okay. Books, pinwheels, shatters, clock, swing, white. Star. 
got forgot fade to fade. All right, so it looks like Jeannie it is. Jeannie or the uh, person here. All right, you ready, kids? You haven't gotten it all year, have you? Yeah. Haven't gotten it all year? We good? We're good? Could this be the day, finally? We're ha almost halfway through the year. All right, genie or person? Ooh, flip, flip. That was not a choice either. We forgot that one, flip. Okay. Good times, good times. And I just, there we go. Uh, all right, so now we got to find the perimeter. And hopefully you guys have done that while I was doing all this. I, oh, before I go on to the next one here, I have something. Yeah, yeah, the perimeter is 20, but we could have done that quicker by knowing one fact. Can you guys find the perimeter of the big triangle for me real quick? How the perimeters uh, relate to each other every time. What's the perimeter of triangle ABC? 40. And we just got a perimeter of 20. So, yes, the perimeter of the mid-segment triangle is always going to be half the perimeter of the larger triangle. Yep. Good. Okay, we're all set there. I'm going to do one more with you and then let you go. So that as you read the directions, notice, please notice, I do not come out and say the vocabulary term mid-segment. You have to realize it's a mid-segment. I am not putting that vocabulary term up there, but what am I doing to help you out? I'm telling you A is a midpoint. B is a midpoint, and I'm connecting them. Oh, that's got to be a mid-segment, even though I don't put that vocabulary term anywhere in the directions. Uh, and then C is also a midpoint. That's probably going to be needed coming up later, but not right now. So I have 3X plus 1, which is mid-segment AB, and its third side, I'm told, is 7X minus 3. I, I'm going to set them equal, even though that's incorrect. I'm not ready to solve that yet. That is incorrect. One of you needs to fix it for me. Because a mid-segment is not equal to its third side. All right? A mid-segment is not equal to its third side. Please adjust this bad boy so I can solve it. 16, Zeev. Okay, so you're doubling this, right? Yep, so you can double the mid-segment. Or if you wanted to take half the third side, you could do that too. Put a half in front, but not both. All right, so here we go. Uh, we got a lot more to do than solve for x, though. So 6x plus 2 equals that third side, 7x minus 3. Move the 6x over, we get x. And move the 3 over, we get x equals 5, but there's a lot more to do. We're looking for vc, vc now. So yes, x equals 5. What do you want to do with 5? What do you want to do with that? 10? Come on, Matt. You got a redemption here today. Wait, what's the question? All right, I'm looking for VC. I have X equals five. Where do I do with that five to help me find VC? Just plug it back in. Where? I got a couple places I could plug it back in. Three uh, X. <laughs> plus one, plus one. Okay, so you're going that way? Yeah. How do you know it's equal to VC, by the way? Because here, I'm going to make it difficult, Tanya. You? You're right, but a that's AB. Three X plus one is AB. I'm looking for VC. Because it's half, right? This is equal to half of this, so 3x plus 1 will be the same as the 3x plus 1 here. Or what else could I do? I could take 5 and plug it into – actually, that won't work, will it? That won't work, will it? Oh, it's 5. Never mind. I'm thinking it's 3. One job. See, that's just what happened. Now Matt's rubbing off on me. Yeah, I could plug it into either one, but if you're going to plug it into 7x minus 3, just make sure you take a half at the end, right? Uh, all right, so VC is going to be equal to, uh, I'll use Matt's suggestion, 3 times 5 minus 1, VC. Sure, I'll, I'll call on somebody here. Plus 1, relax. I'll call on somebody here. Could be. Nope, sorry. 3, Aiden, finish this up, please. 16. 16, yep. All right, we good? And then... On your own, starting here. 
please don't call me over and ask, am I doing this right? Where can you go if, to see if you're doing it right? Really? Answer keys that are posted on Classroom. Thank you, Sonny, for helping us. Once I see everybody's done, we'll come back as a group and then uh, talk about your courses for next year.